The key question for this meeting was whether or not the 27 other governments of the EU would back Greece's handling of this crisis as strongly as the three EU presidents did when they took a trip down to the border. I think the answer we have is a pretty unequivocal yes. There's been a lot of criticism of the Greek government about how they're handling the, the border situation, the heavy-handed tactics they're using in order to discourage people from coming. Uh, and even while the meeting was ongoing, there were protests taking outside the council building with people demanding that the interior ministers chastise Greece. Uh, but those protests fell on deaf ears. Really, the statement is pretty unequivocal in its support. It doesn't really have anything calling for restraint. The text reads, quote, illegal crossings will not be tolerated. In this regard, the EU and its member states will take all necessary measures in accordance with EU and international law. I'm told really the only area of disagreement uh, behind the scenes tonight was how strong the language toward Turkey should be. Greece and a lot of other countries wanted very strong language condemning Turkey for using migrants as pawns in a political game. Uh, but Germany pushed back on this really hard. Netherlands also, they didn't see uh, it as a good idea to further antagonize what is actually a, a NATO ally, of course. So the language they ended up with there uh, was fairly soft. They say they strongly reject Turkey's use of migratory pressure for political purposes. Uh, in the end, in terms of what they can offer Greece for help, they really didn't go much further than what was offered yesterday by President von der Leyen when she was down there in Greece. That is 350 million euros right now to help them, an additional 350 million available in the future, some ships and uh, personnel from Frontex, the EU's border force. Uh, they really basically just signed off on what had already been offered. No more aid was forthcoming, uh, and Greece probably would have been disappointed with that, although Greece could be happy with the support they received.